Okay, so now we're going to taste a little bit of the George T. Stag. A lot of folks like to refer to this as the hazmat of bourbons. It's a very unique bourbon. It comes out of the barrel and goes into the bottle uncut and unfiltered. So that basically means that it's not chill filtered like we do a lot of our other bourbons. We just take it out of that barrel and throw it into the bottle, take out the big chunks basically of the charcoal. Occasionally people will call and they'll say, hmm, there's some little black stuff floating in the bottom of my George T. Stag. And we're like, yep, that's what uncut and unfiltered means. So it's not going to hurt anything, just drink it. That's the way it's made to be. Uh, the stag is really unique because it is the uncut, unfiltered, and high proof. Most of our rye recipe bourbons, which are this age, which is about 15 to 16 years old, are going to come out anywhere from 130 to 145 proof. The highest proof of stag we've ever released is 144 proof. So obviously it is a little high octane for bourbon, but that's the great thing about stag. Even at that high proof, it doesn't taste like it's at that high proof. It's one of the best, smoothest bourbons you'll ever taste. It's actually got quite a bit of cult following. And the thing that makes this so um, hard to get is we only release it once a year. We don't have that many barrels that are 15 years old that come of age that meet this taste profile. And the other issue is with the limited quantity, it's not cut to 90 proof like all of our other bourbons. So obviously there's going to be a lot less yield when we bottle the product. Um, it comes out every fall as part of our antique collection. We have five very special limited bourbons that are part of our antique collection. Three of them are uncut and filtered. The stag, which is our rye recipe bourbon, and then we have a wheat recipe bourbon as well as a straight rye bourbon that are uncut unfiltered. We found that the uh, general public is really um, wanting to taste these products uncut unfiltered. It's a totally different taste than if you were to cut it to 90 proof. Both are very, very good, but it's just different and unique, and people really now are looking for that unique stuff as far as bourbon's concerned. So we're thrilled to put out the George T. Stag. It was actually a customer's idea that we did the George T. Stag. We were very skeptical that people were gonna wanna drink something at such high proof. So that's why we did go to the older product to try to get the best taste profile. And we were shocked by how the, re um, the response to this product. It's just been phenomenal. It comes out in October. You can bet it's gonna be gone off those uh, liquor store shelves by Christmas. So the one that we're going to taste today is actually um, a release from a couple years ago. It is 129 proof, which is about 64 um, and a half um, ABV. So it's a little, it was the lowest proof we've ever released, but still a very, very good, great product. And it meets the taste profile. So it's not just about the proof and being the highest proof possible. It's about what it tastes like. And it has to taste like George T. Stag. Now I'm going to drink this neat, so um, forgive me. <laughs> if I get a little goofy afterwards. Oh, that is so good. The nose on this is incredible. It has so much going on. You, you can smell the sweetness um, you can, and, and the dryness all at the same time. There's definitely some of those wonderful karma, caramel and vanilla flavors that you experience in other bourbons. But then there's like a little bit of leather and tobacco going on there. And I think that really comes from it being uncut, unfiltered you get that definitely smoky smell from it being in the barrel so long. This is the only bourbon that I can say when I taste it. I actually taste a little bit of chocolate in there. I think it's something just to do with the thickness and richness of the bourbon. Like I said, it's unreal. And the issue with this is it's very high proof and it tends to sneak up on you. Um, I had that experience about three years ago at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival. Um, Truman, our lead chemist, was kind enough to bring some stag for the after party, and I really like the stag. The problem is, is that too much of it does get to you. And just to make a long story short, on Monday morning, someone sent me a picture of me in a Batman mask, and I don't remember wearing the Batman mask or putting it on. So you do have to be careful with the stag. I like to describe it as an after dinner drink. Um, that way, you know, you're not drinking stag the way you would drink other things. It's definitely something to be sipped and enjoyed and really um, appreciate the complexity and everything that makes stag stag. Again, just fabulous, wonderful finish. It starts out kind of dry and gets sweeter as it goes on. And it's, it's just an amazing, amazing product and, you know, one of the best premium products we make here at Buffalo Trace.